Hello my crafty friends. Today I'm sharing a fun slimline card that is actually a pop-up. I made it to send to a friend who's a new grandma. So she is also a paper crafter so I know she's gonna like this card. A slimline card folded is three and a half inches across by eight and a half inches tall and it fits in a number 10 business envelope. I used some sparkly pattern paper from my stash you can see all the glitter on it. Um, it's an old, retired pattern paper. I have a lot of pattern paper. I love using pattern paper. In fact, most of my cards start off being inspired by pattern paper. And this one, this is, this is a unique one. I doubled the Charm Accordion by Karen Berniston. So it normally cuts a card that's this high. And you open it up. My little duck stuck there. And you open it up and you normally have this and you can add pages and make it as long as you want. But I doubled it up and made an extra tall one because I'm loving the slimline card format these days. I wanted to just play with my dies and find out which ones work really well with, uh, with slimline. So I was very happy the way this worked out. You end up folding the card in half. I will have a photo on my blog of how I did it. Um, and the blog I will link below. So you just fold it in half and run it through with the uh, fold below the cut line on the die so you don't actually cut through that area. And even though there is a fold, if you look, you can see there's a fold there with the, and I used 65 pound cardstock, so not even heavy cardstock, which I usually use heavy cardstock on a slim line. But I was cutting through both layers and I used the 65 pound, but it is very sturdy with the heavyweight pattern paper layers on both sides, front and back. And then the little uh, strips of pattern paper there that are not only decorative, they add some extra stability. I'm impressed with how stable this card is. It's not, it's not at all wobbly. Um, I used the, ba these small ones here are not the baby charms, sorry. These ones come with the charm accordion and then the baby and the cute little duck and the onesie come from Karen Berniston's baby charms. So they're kind of fun to put together and I'm, oh, uh, the other very cool thing I have to show you is the charm accordion comes with jump rings, a jump ring die. So I did use jump ring, that I cut them out of white cardstock. You can use them as is, you can also use real jump rings, but I like, I like these ones and you can leave them and the things are not supposed to pop off, but I am just never sure. So I cut a tiny, tiny piece of white cardstock and adhered it. I'm trying to see if I can even find when you can't see them very well. There. On this one, you can see this is just a tiny, tiny piece of white cardstock that I attached the two ends of the jump ring together. I used some lovely Studio Katya crystals. They have lots of different sizes in here and they have so much sparkle. And the little ones, I don't think, add a lot of bulk to your card for mailing. And then Studio Katya has this embellishment wand. So it's got a waxy tip here, which works really well to pick the embellishments up. And then another tip that you can use to press the embellishments down. In addition to the Studio Katia crystals, I used this lovely package of sequins. No, they call them confetti. Crystal rainbow confetti. And there's a multitude of colors in there. They're iridescent and they're flat backed sequins. So I like how, how nicely they adhere. I just went through the bag, used the embellishment wand, and chose some pink ones. I love a little bit of sparkle. And also from Studio Katya, I had just picked up their dotted pattern set four. I love, love, love the scalloped uh, A2 size panel this gives, and then the cute little labels, and then a frame, and everything will work to make shakers as well. But uh, that's what I, that little label there, and the one for signing. So lots of movement on the card. It'll still fold flat and may offer a single stamp. And I can't wait to send it to my friend. If you enjoyed my video today, hit the thumbs up button 
and I'd love to have you to subscribe to see more. That's it for me today.